In this video, we're going to learn how to find the eigenvectors of a 3 by 3 matrix. In the previous video, we've already learned how to find the eigenvalues, so we have that just given here. But we're going to recall that the eigenvalues are given by e times some vector x equals lambda times the same vector x, where x is non-zero. And here, lambda is the eigenvalue. And this x is the eigenvector of a matrix A. Now we're going to rearrange this equation to have a minus lambda i times x equals zero. And we know that we can solve those kinds of equations using the Gaussian elimination. Now we have this eigenvalue lambda equals minus 3 here. So our a minus lambda i times the vector x is, in this case, minus 2 minus minus 3 is 1. Then we just rewrite 2 minus 3, 2, then 1 minus minus 3 is 4. Then we have minus 6, minus 1, minus 2, and 0, minus minus 3 is just 3, times x, which is x1, x2, x3, and that is equal to 0, the 0 vector. Now we can use the Gaussian elimination to find our vector x. 2 for minus 6, 0, and minus 1, minus 2, 3, 0. So we're going to reduce that by adding the third row to the first one and adding twice the third row to the second one. And that leaves us with just zeros in both the first and the second row. And then the third one stays the same. From that we can read that minus 1 x1 minus 2 x2 plus 3 x3 is equal to 0. Now suppose that x1 is equal to some number a and x2 is equal to some b. Then if we rearrange this equation, we're going to have x3 equals a third x1 plus two thirds x2. And therefore, our eigenspace can be written as, for the lambda equals minus three, can be written as a times some vector plus B times some another vector. Now, x1 is equal to a, therefore we're going to have 1 here, as 1 times a is just a. Then x2 has no a in it, so we're going to put 0 here, and x3 has a third a there. And then for b, x1 has no b, x2 is equal to b, 
and then x3 has two thirds. Therefore, our eigenvectors are given by x equals 1, 0, and a third, and then x equals to 0, 1, and 2 thirds. That's for lambda equals minus 3. Then we're going to move on to lambda equals 5. And again, our a minus lambda i times the vector x equals minus 2 minus 5 is minus 7 then we rewrite 2 minus 3 and 2 1 minus 5 is minus 4 minus 6 minus 1 minus 2 and minus 5 and we multiply that by our vector x to obtain the zero vector. Now we're going to use the Gaussian elimination again. So we have minus 7, 2, minus 3, 0, 2, minus 4, minus 6, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 5, and 0. And to reduce that, we're going to subtract seven times the second row from the first row and then for the second row we're going to add the third row twice and that will leave us with 0, 16, 32, 0 then 0, minus 8, minus 16 0 and the last row stays the same minus 1 minus 2 minus 5 and 0 and now for the first row if we add to it twice the second row that will leave us with straight zeros in the first row second one stays the same minus 16 0 and the third one stays the same again Now we're left with those two equations, minus 8x2 minus 16x3 equals 0, and minus 1x1 minus 2x2 minus 5x3 equals 0 as well. We can reduce that to get x2 equals minus 2x3 and then if we just multiply that by minus 1 that will give us x1 plus 2x2 plus 5x3 equals 0. Now suppose again that x2 this time is equal to some a and from that we have that x3 is equal to minus 1 over half a. And then from the, the other equation we have x1, if we re rearrange it first, we have x1 equals minus 2x2 minus 5x3. And that will give us minus 2a plus 5 over 2 a and that is just a half a. Therefore our eigenspace space is given by a for lambda equals 5 a times the vector we have x1 is a half a, so we have a half here, 
x2 is a, so we just have one here, and x3 is minus a half, so that is here. Therefore, our eigenvector is here. We're going to use red for that. X equals a half one or minus a half. Or it's going to look nicer x is just 1, 2 and minus 1. Both of them satisfy the equation ax equals lambda x. Thank you very much.